Greetings, globe huggers and flat earthers. Today we have an amazing beer, 10% once a year, 2020. Surprising that this was even still available. February 25th, 2020, Tuesday. Wow, beer of infinite density. Okay, and we got the nice matching uh, opener to go with it. Huh. Oh my gosh, it even has a saw. Look at that. Okay. So let's get to it. Without further ado, we've got to get that wax off. Today we got a good one for you. We're going to show you what's impossible according to the globe religion on their model. Certain activities you just can't do. So, I, I need that saw. I actually need that saw. Oh my gosh. This thing's oiled as well. Look at that. Okay. So let's, uh, oh yeah, beauty. Okay, hopefully that's enough. Wow, <laughs> this is no joke. Okay. It's gonna have to keep working at this. Okay, so it's all right. It's really cold out here. It's freezing weather. It was uh, trying to rain earlier, but I know around this time the sun usually comes out or tries to. Wow, this is severe. How can you get this? Okay. I'll have to get the corkscrew in action now. Don't worry, the weight will be worth it. We've got a serious globe debunk again. Okay, this it's off now. Perfect. I think we cleared enough. Let's do it. Get the saw back. And let's try to open this without getting hurt. Not sure how that's going to work. Oh, you can just do it closed. Perfect. Oh, yeah. And so this is supposed to be. Oh. It's a dark beer, kind of malty, sort of like a Guinness. So I was told by someone who knows what they're talking about. Okay. Same woman who recommended the Dagara that we had last time, the Belgian beer, which was amazing. Yeah, so this is, okay, don't worry, I'll get that cap later. Um, okay, let's try this. Yeah, it's good. For a heavy kind of a, Driftwood Brewery, yeah, a heavier beer, but I don't know, it's good. It's actually, I really like it. Slightly bitter aftertaste. So let's get to business here. What we're gonna do today, what we're gonna show, 
that, you know, we don't live on a globe because if you did, you have a problem with, uh, we're just going to take one of the crazy movements that it has, the magic ball. Let's just get the magic ball. Hang on. Because I did a video of this, but it wasn't me talking. And so I just, I'd like to be able to talk on all the main points. So what we got here is the magic ball. Whoa! <laughs> oh my God, it cracked right open. Hang on one second. Whoa. Okay. Okay. We're going to rebuild it. Hang on. I thought I tasted blood. I think this Okay. Oh, and it dented a little bit. Oh my God. Okay, we fixed that. Let's get it back together quick. There. Lined it up. How should we do it? Like that? No! Okay, hold on. Let's get those lines lined up. Perfect. Snap it into place. Okay, so we're going to do rigid body rotation with translation. It's just basically rigid body. It's not. It's a broken ball. There's zero tensile strength. Play tectonic BS. The magic of gravity makes it stronger than if it was a solid sphere of titanium, but forget that. Um, pretend. Okay, pretend. Okay, so here's the rigid body. It spins, okay, so rigid body rotation with translation. What's translation? This, sliding it down a track or an orbit around the sun, okay, or around my head. Okay, that's translation, okay. Your tires on your car, the same exact math applies to that. It's rotating and you're going down the road. So believe it or not, your uh, half of that revolution is acceleration and half is deceleration, okay? Think about that. When it's coming back and you're going this way, right? And then it's going this way, you're going that way. <laughs> so anyways, if you plug in, we're just going to do the spin plus the orbit. So 1,000 miles per hour plus 67,000 miles per hour of translation around the sun. And if you add to that um, the orbit around the sun plus the sun dragging you half a million miles per hour, that, that'll add extra speed, extra acceleration. So let's just do the acceleration because we only need one. Who cares about the deceleration? Um, it's the same. So what it works out to is 21 millimeters per second squared of acceleration, constant acceleration for 12 hours, and then it's got to decelerate. Think about that. For 12 hours straight, you're accelerating, okay? That's crazy, okay? So if it was your car tire, let me see if I can get it right. Um, with respect to the acceleration and deceleration phase. So, you're going that way, let's say, and then your tire's going that way. So that whole trip, actually, you're decelerating because you're going the other direction. And your maximum deceleration is there, and then you start to accelerate in that part of the trip. Or the other way around, but I think that first way was the right way. But it doesn't matter. You have acceleration using the globe values, period. 21 millimeters per second squared, okay? And there's no way out of that. That's what the math says, okay? So what couldn't you do if you had that much acceleration? You couldn't build those rock balancing sculptures. Oh my God, you couldn't build that. And so what we're gonna try to do today is build one of those to prove 
that we don't live on a globe or to prove I can't build one. <laughs> one or the other, okay? So if it doesn't work, it doesn't mean we're on a globe, okay? It just means, because you've seen those everywhere, it just means that I couldn't build it, okay? Just because I know globe heads get confused easy. So let's try that. We're going to move the camera around. And we'll have another sip too. Wow, impressive, I, I really like this. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's see if you can see that. I think you can, yeah. Let's just maybe zoom in a bit. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. Okay, this might work. All right. So, I think I'll tilt it up a little. Yeah. Okay. Now we're cooking with gas. <laughs> All right. So, let's get these maybe onto this side. Right. The globe there, yeah, good. Who cares about the globe? Okay, okay. we don't have to go too far. I'm gonna start putting some rocks on here. Beer doesn't have to be here or the globe, so let's see. That'll be our first rock, right there. Let's take a closer look, okay. Get that rock there. Come on. Okay, now let's find some more. Oh, this piece. sure we're getting that this is my first rock uh, balancing sculpture ever and I don't think we're getting this hang on there it is okay all right so there it is let's get some more on there maybe we'll try this piece A tragedy it fell Okay, hold on. We're going to just get one more on here.
Now imagine if I had all that acceleration going on, over two centimeters per second squared. It would never work. Ta-da! Whoa! <laughs> okay, we're close. That's what would happen if you're on a globe. It would always fall. Well, we did it momentarily. And that's the end of the globe! <laughs> The end of the globe! <laughs> I love saying that! Look at that! Let's take the camera off and have a closer look. Okay. Yeah, this is great. I'm going to set it up right here, the camera, so that we can look at that. Okay. Lower it a bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, all right. Okay. Dude, this beer tastes like blood. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, this aftertaste on this beer is like blood. Yeah. 
the end of the globe. Can't do that on your ball. <laughs> okay, oh, 25 millimeters per second squared, just for the two of the movements, the spin, the orbit, and being dragged by the sun. How are you gonna do this? Just the spin in the orbit precludes this. Okay, makes that impossible. Hey, globe hugger, <laughs> what are you gonna do now? And that's the end of the globe. Okay, I don't wanna hear any more of your crap. Okay, you can't do that on a globe. I could just blow on that, it'll fall over. Okay, use your brain, people. I'm going to show you how dark this beer is. Look at that. It's black. And the foam, and the foam is uh, brown. Mmm. Ah, you like raw oysters? Oh, I love them. Wonder if we should try to put one more on there. Oh man. Maybe a little one. Ta-da! <laughs> and I'm left-handed, I mean right-handed, and I'm holding a beer, and I was able to add another rock to that. That's pretty amazing. Can't do that on the globe! Uh. That's really leaning! You gotta see this! Try building that on a globe that's accelerating constantly. Okay? You can't do it. Globe is the biggest hoax, the biggest fraud 
probably next to Scientology, ever foisted on the public. Okay. Look at that. It's a religion, man. You go look who invented it. Bunch of priests. Okay. So, let's go back to our original spot. Finish up some beer and call it a day. Call it a wrap. That looks a bit funny. Yeah, that looks like an ass. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I just looking at my screen here and I'm saying wow yeah that's an ass hold on get a little more height we can see it better might as well do the full extension here Yep, we're looking at asses now. And that's what you do on the beach, I guess. There it is. Look at that. Well, that didn't work out too good. <laughs> Hang on. Yeah. Whoops. Next to the ass. That's it. Yeah, that's one to remember, all right. Oh boy. Let's just lock this thing down a bit. Yeah. Hold on. Okay. Got to get some height. Yeah, there was a guy who used to call himself the flat earth asshole. <laughs> oh my God, he was all right.
Yeah. What else? It says Russian Imperial Stout. Hang on. So those tough mad Russians, man, the Madruskis, they drink this. Make no mistake, this costs around almost $15.99 plus tax. Definitely the Dagrad, the Belgian beer was better, I think. For me, anyways. My, you know, this is very drinkable. I really like it. Nothing against it at all. Unfiltered. So these are the ingredients. Just yeast, malt, barley, hops. Just water, <laughs> malt, hops, and yeast. Unfiltered, a bourbon barrel aged. That adds a lot of flavor. Bourbon barrel aged. Yeah. time and that's the end of the glow yeah honestly people you got to start being critical okay don't just believe you know in the globe think about it okay doesn't make sense it's asinine okay asinine Acidine. You have a brain, you have to use it, okay? <laughs> You're going over a thousand times faster than a speeding bullet? Are you mental? In five, over five directions and you 
can't feel a thing, nobody can prove it or anything like that. And you need this magical force, mystery force, theoretical force that makes it all work. Come on. Okay. Honestly. This takes two brain cells. One for your vital functions, and one to understand, just to look around to see the flat wire. Okay, come on. Ball. This is good beer. I don't usually do the dark, malty, creamy, but this is way better than a Guinness. Any day. Any day. Any day. Any day. many more flat earth uh, topics I really wanted to bring out there I guess I'll just review some of the ones you know the F over 2 pi <laughs> that's that's a killer right there okay um, the Sun would take up the whole sky because lights don't shrink according to small angles map. Okay. No. no the lights they'll look the same. You just got a hundred to one ratio. Your sun is a million miles wide, a hundred million miles away from Earth. And it shrinks to nothing. <laughs> no, lights don't do that. You're done right there. The Dead Sea, you're you have a wall in front of you almost one and a half kilometers and you're at the base of that but the sunsets are still nice and slow three hours okay in the winter even it's when the sun is the lowest it's still just a gradual beautiful sunset just like anywhere else on earth and that is only possible with an overhead light so don't be fooled with stupidity tell them Whoever objects to that Dead Sea video, tell them. Okay? Make a model on your ball. Show me that your ball can make that work. No, the sunset on the ball would last just a few seconds. And then when the mountain, when you're at the base here, there's like a big crack in the ball. You're right at the base, and then less than 20 miles. It has to go, and you're done. And you're moving at 890 miles per hour at that latitude, 31 degrees at Jerusalem. What are you going to do? Okay. The globe is broken. It never works. It's stupid. Yeah, it requires blind faith. That's all. There's no demonstrations of the globe religion. It's a dogma. It's a cult. It's Scientology, scientism, pseudoscience. It's not science. So people, this one guy's got a degree. He goes, oh. He goes, physics, astronomy, really just astrophysics. Astrophysics is junk science. It's not science. It's stupidity. And so he's got his degree there. And I said, well, engineering physics trumps your degree anytime. He tried to show me some math, and it had the radius in it to account for the spinning ball. I said, nobody. That doesn't apply. He goes, oh, well, publish your paper. I'm like, idiot. It's in the textbooks. I have two references, engineering textbooks. Radius cancels out of the equation. What don't you understand about that? And he's showing me math with radius? Stupid. Okay, nobody can challenge the videos I put up. That's all. The points I bring out, they can't be challenged. All right? So, 
yeah, I was the uh, first one to bring the F over 2 Pi to the table. And how about the magic shrinking sun that they have? Nobody talked about that. But at least one guy in the comments said he knew about it and he was thinking about that. That made my day because I thought, wow, you know, yeah, other people, you know, they do think about these things. And other people, as soon as you tell them, right away they know it's obvious. Like some people, it took them almost like right away to, to accept the earth was flat. I actually met someone like that, a vendor at a farmer's market. And it just, it was almost instant. He got it. And not me, <laughs> it didn't catch me instantly, I'll be honest. I thought I was gonna make a debunk video. I mean, I knew the moon landing was fake, but I thought, oh yeah, there's uh, balls and uh, space stations floating up there. We can get up to there. Cause that's what the documentary of the fake moon landing was saying, okay? Stupid, no, no. And then people would come to the video. That one got well over half a million views. And uh, they started talking about flat. And they were so polite, so nice. And I'd be polite back and yeah, yeah, sorry, yeah. Not my thing. You know, like I'm not buying. And then I said, wait a minute, man. I got to make a video to, shut, to stop these guys so I can just point them to the video. And lo and behold, man, it's flat. Okay, and that's how many people got into flat. That's how they did it. They just were initially opposed, and then when they went to do an honest video of the situation, they put everything in the scales, flat. It's a no, no contest, no contest. Flat wins, hands down. Can you do my sculpture is still standing so we'll show you that before we leave which will probably be in a few minutes we we'll just have a little bit left wow <sighs> yeah yeah you know these demonstrations there is not a single demonstration in the globe religion not one Okay, huh. take a broken ball, try to spin it with water on it and loose sand. You think you can spin a broken ball? You can't, okay? That's why they have to invent this magical force called gravity. It doesn't exist. Let's look at the math. It says it starts uh, from the surface, it goes to zero. And then from the surface, it goes to zero in both directions, to the center of the ball and further from the ball. Well, mathematically, that means it doesn't exist. There's no source of gravity. See, it's all up here, it's mental. But you have to know a bit of math, okay? It's an infinitesimally thin layer where the source would be, okay? Which means zero, okay? It's imaginary. This is calculus, all right? That's all. So if you're going from zero, so this is, you know, your line, that line can't have any thickness, that surface. Okay, none. Okay, it's imaginary. So it goes zero to the center, zero to out. Okay, doesn't exist. Just on that alone, you've debunked it. It's a concept, it's an idea. Okay, that's why you can't take them to court and sue them, you know. Because they'll say, oh yeah, look at the fine print. Officially, it's just a theory. You know, that's what they'll say. But when they're teaching the kids, they're going to say it's a fact. And if you find it that it says a fact in a textbook, then, then you have grounds. Then you have grounds. Because it's not a fact. Okay? It's, it's a story. It's a poem. It's nothing. Okay? It doesn't exist. Yeah. What can you do? 
I am like freezing, but uh, ooh. <laughs> but the alcohol in here is somehow making a difference. You can tolerate a lot more cold with a bit of alcohol. That's why those St. Bernards, you know, carry those barrels on their neck in Switzerland or wherever. And they go to the you know, stranded uh, skiers on the slopes, hikers, and they got you know, some kind of alcohol in the little barrel. <coughs> and you drink it and you come to life. You know? Nothing wrong. pretty nice <laughs> after a few more of these whoa you never know you can learn a lot <laughs> from that the female anatomy they got the childbearing hips look at that waist narrow okay narrow waist uh, Huge childbearing wide hips. Okay. And the narrow waist. Okay. That's a female form. Okay. It's easy to see the trannies. You know, I try to tell my friends, you know, Princess Diana, Kate Middleton. They're trannies. This this goes back like so long. Michelle Obama. Everybody knows. Okay. Even Joan Rivers was calling her out, and I think Joan Rivers is one too. Sonny and Cher, reverso couple. Come on, look at Sonny. He's a woman. And Cher with that voice. You know, that's a man's voice. No female has a voice that low. It's physically impossible. Just like the globe. So yeah, it's a pretty messed up world. Oh well, yeah, you better know what's going on around here. Ah, we killed it. Okay, so. Time to go, it's been nice. Uh, glad that you uh, joined me today and we'll just have one more look at the sculpture yeah let's just do that okay in that lovely flat horizon. And you see it's tilted. Okay. One last goodbye. Okay, one last goodbye. And that's the end of the globe! Okay, one more, one more. And that's the end of the globe! See ya. Okay, possible on the globe. Couldn't build this because of the acceleration and deceleration over two centimeters per second squared every 12 hours you're accelerating then you're decelerating <laughs> not possible <laughs>